Yeshayahu, or Isaiah chapter 40. Comfort, comfort my people, says your Elohim. Speak to the heart of Yerushalayim and cry out to her that her hard service is completed, that her crookedness is pardoned, and that she has received from the land of Yehovah double for all her sins. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of Yehovah, make straight in the desert a highway for our Elohim. Let every valley be raised and every mountain and hill made low, and the steep ground shall become level and the rough places smooth. And the esteem of Yehovah shall be revealed, and all flesh together shall see it, for the mouth of Yehovah has spoken. The voice said, Cry out. And he said, What do I cry? All flesh is grass, and all its loving commitment is like the flower of the field. Grass shall wither, the flower shall fade, when the spirit of Yehovah has blown on it. Truly the people is grass. Grass shall wither, the flower shall fade, but the word of our Elohim stands forever. You who bring good news to Sion, get up in the high mountain. You who bring good news to Jerusalem, lift up your voice with strength, lift it up, be not afraid. Say to the cities of Yehuda, see your Elohim. See, the master Yehovah comes with strength, and his arm rules for him. See, his reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He fleets his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs with his arms and carries them in his bosom, gently leading those who are with young. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and measured the heavens with a span and contained the dust of the earth in a measure and weighed the mountains and scales and the hills in a balance? Who has meted out the spirit of Yehovah, or has, as his counselor taught him? With whom did he take counsel, and who instructed him, and taught him the path of right ruling? Who taught him knowledge, and showed him the way of understanding? See, the nations are as a drop in a bucket, and are reckoned as dust on the balance. See, he lifts up isles as fine dust. And Lebanon is not enough to burn, nor its beasts enough for an ascending offering. All nations before him are as a non-entity, and they are reckoned by him as less than a speck and emptiness. And to whom would you liken El? And what likeness would you compare to him? The workman molds a graven image, and the goldsmith overspreads it with gold, and the silversmith casts silver chains. He who is too poor for such an offering chooses a tree that does not rot. He seeks for himself a skilled craftsman to prepare a carved image that does not totter. Did you not know? Have you not heard? Has it not been declared to you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth. It is he who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers. Who stretches out the heavens like a curtain and spreads them out like a tent to dwell in? Who brings princes to naught and shall make the rulers of the earth as emptiness? Hardly have they been planted, hardly have they been sown, hardly has their stock taken root in the earth when he shall blow on them, and they wither, and a whirlwind take them away like stubble. And to whom then do you liken me, or to whom am I compared, says the set-apart one. Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these. He is bringing out their host by number. He calls them all by name, by the greatness of ability and potent of power. A man is not lacking. Why do you say, O Yaakov, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from Yehovah, and my rights are overlooked by my Elohim? Did you not know? 
Have you not heard the everlasting Elohim, Yehovah, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and to those who have no might. He increases strength. Even youths shall faint and be weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who wait on Yehovah renew their strength. They raise up the wing like eagles. They run and are not weary. They walk and do not faint. Chapter 41. Be silent before me, you coastlands. Let peoples renew their power. Let them come near, let them speak, let them come together for right ruling. Who raised up the righteous? One from the east, called him to his foot, gave the nations before him, and made sovereigns submit to him. He gave them as dust to his sword, as driven stubble to his bow. He pursued them, passed over in safety by a path that he had not gone with his feet. Who has performed and done it? Calling the generations from the beginning. I, Yehovah, am the first. And with the last, I am he. Coastlands see it and fear. The ends of the earth are afraid. They draw near and come. Everyone helps his neighbor and says to his brother, be strong. And the craftsman strengthens the goldsmith. He who smooths with the hammer inspires him who strikes the anvil, saying of the joining, it is good. Then he strengthens it with nails so it does not totter. But you, Israel, are my servant, Yaakov, who I have chosen, the descendants of Abraham who loved me, whom I have strengthened from the ends of the earth and called from its farthest parts and said to you, you are my servant, I have chosen you and have not rejected you. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not look around, for I am your Elohim. I shall fortify you. I shall also help you. I shall also uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. See, all those who raged against you are ashamed and blush. They are as non-existent, and the men who strive with you perish. You seek them, but do not find them, those who struggle with you. Those who fight you are as non-existent as not. For I, Yehovah, your Elohim, am strengthening your right hand, saying to you, do not fear, I shall help you. Do not fear, you worm Yaakov, you men of Israel, I shall help you, declares Yehovah and your Redeemer, the set-apart one of Israel. See, I shall make you into a new threshing sledge with sharp teeth, let you thresh mountains and beat them small and make hills like chaff. You winnow them. The wind lifts them up and the whirlwind scatters them. But you, you rejoice in Yehovah and boast in the set-apart one of Israel. When the poor and needy seek water and there is none and their tongues have failed for thirst, I, Yehovah, do answer them. I, the Elohim of Israel, do not forsake them. I open rivers on bare hills and fountains in midst of valleys. I make a wilderness become a pool of water and dry land, springs of water. I said in the wilderness, cedar, acacia, and myrtle, and oil tree. I place in the desert cypress, pine, and box tree together so that they see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of Yehovah has done this and the set-apart one of Israel has created it. 
Present your case, says Yehovah. Let your strong ones come near, says the sovereign of Yaakov. Let them draw near and declare to us what's going to take place. Let them declare the former events, what they were, and we consider them and know that the latter end of them or announce to us what's coming. Declare the events that are going to come hereafter and we know that you are mighty ones. Yes, do good or do evil and let us be amazed and see it together. See, you are of naught and your work is a breath. He who chooses you is an abomination. I've stirred up one from the north, and he comes. From the rising of the sun, he calls on my name, and he comes against princes as though mortar, as the potter treads clay, who has declared from the beginning, and we know, and former times, and we say, he is righteous. No. No one is declaring. No. No one is proclaiming. No. No one is hearing your words. He who is first said to Sion, See, see them. And to Yerushalayim, I give one who brings good news. And I see that there is no man, and of these there is no counselor who, when I ask of them, answers a word. See, all of them are useless, their works are not, their molded images are wind and confusion. Chapter 42. See, my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one, my being has delighted in. I've put my spirit upon him. He brings forth right ruling to the nations. He does not cry out, nor lift up his voice, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A crushed reed he does not break, and smoking flax he does not quench. He brings forth right ruling in accordance with truth. He does not become weak or crushed until he has established right ruling in the earth. And the coastlands wait for his Torah. Thus said the El, Yehovah, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread forth the earth and that which comes from it, who gives breath to the people on it and spirit to those who walk on it. I, Yehovah, have called you in righteousness, and I strengthen your hand and guard you and give you for a covenant to a people for a light to the nations, to open blind eyes, to bring out prisoners from prison, those who sit in darkness from the prison house. I am Yehovah, that is my name, and my esteem I do not give to another, nor my praise to idols. See, the former predictions have come, and new ones I am declaring. Before they spring forth, I let you hear them. Sing to Yehovah a new song, his praise from the ends of the earth, you who go down to the sea and all that is in it, you coastlands and you inhabitants of them. Let the wilderness and its cities lift up their voice, the villages where Kedar dwells. Let the inhabitants of Selah sing. Let them shout from the tops of the mountains. Let them give esteem to Yehovah and declare his praise in the coastlands. Yehovah goes forth like a mighty man, he stirs up ardor like a fighter. He cries out, yes, shout aloud. Over his enemies, he shows himself mighty. I have kept silent from of old. I have been still and held myself back. Like a woman in labor, I now cry out. I pant and gasp at once. I lay waste mountains and hills, and I dry up all their plants and I shall make rivers become coastlands, and I dry up pools, and I shall lead the blind by a way they have not known. In paths they have not known, I lead them. I make darkness light before them, and crooked places straight. These matters I shall do for them, and I shall not forsake them. Those who trust in idols, who say to the molded images, 
you are our mighty ones, shall be turned back utterly ashamed. Hear, you deaf, and look, you blind, and see. Who is blind but my servant, or deaf as my messenger whom I send? Who is blind as he who is at peace, and blind as servant of Yehovah? You see much, but do not guard. Ears are open, but do not hear. It has delighted Yehovah for the sake of his righteousness to make the Torah great and esteemed. But this is a people robbed and plundered. All of them are snared in holes and they're hidden in prison houses. They've become prey with no one to deliver for plunder and no one to say, restore. Who among you gives ear to this, pays attention and hears for the time to come? Who gave Yaakov for plunder and Israel to the robbers? Was it not Yehovah, he against whom we sinned? For they would not walk in his ways and they did not obey his Torah. So, He's poured out on him his burning displeasure and the strength of battle, and it set him on fire all around, yet he did not understand. And it burned against him, yet he did not take it to heart. In chapter 43, But now, thus said Yehovah, your creator, O Yaakov, and he who formed you, O Israel, do not Fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I am with you, and through rivers, they do not overflow you. When you walk through fire, you are not scorched, and a flame does not burn you. For I am Yehovah, your Elohim, the set apart one of Israel, your Savior. I gave Mitzrayim for your ransom, Cush and Sabah in your place. Since you were precious in my eyes, you have been esteemed, and I have loved you. And I give men in your place and peoples for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I shall bring your seed from the east and gather you from the west. I shall say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not keep them back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. All of those who are called by my name, whom I have created, formed, even made for my esteem. He shall bring out a blind people who have eyes and deaf ones who have ears. All the nations shall be assembled and the peoples be gathered. Who among them declares this and show us former events? Let them give their witness to be declared right or let them hear and say, it is true. You are my witnesses, declares Yehovah, and my servant whom I have chosen so that you know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me, there was no El formed, nor after me, there is none. I, I am Yehovah, and besides me, there is no savior. I am. I have declared and saved and made known, and there was no strange mighty one among you. And you are my witnesses, declares Yehovah, that I am El. Even from the day I am he, and no one delivers out of my hand. I work, and who turns it back? Thus said Yehovah, your Redeemer, the set-apart one of Israel, for your sake, I shall send to Babel and bring them all down as fugitives, even the Kazdim who rejoice in their ships. I am Yehovah, your set-apart one, creator of Israel, your sovereign. Thus said Yehovah, who makes a way in the sea and a path through the mighty waters, who brings forth the chariot and the horse, the army and the power. They lie down together. They do not rise. They've been extinguished. They've been quenched like a wick. Do not remember 
the former events, nor consider the events of old. See, I'm doing what is new. Let it now spring forth. Do you not know it? I'm even making a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field esteems me, the jackals and the ostriches, because I've given waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen, the people I have formed for myself. Let them relate my praise. But you have not called on me, O Yaakov, for you have been weary of me, O Israel. You've not brought me the sheep for your ascending offerings, nor have you esteemed me with your slaughterings. I've not caused you to serve with grain offerings, nor wearied you with incense. You've not bought me sweet cane with silver, nor have you satisfied me with the fat of your slaughterings. You've only burdened me with your sins. You've wearied me with your crookednesses. I, I am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake and remember your sins no more. Remind me, let us enter into judgment together. Relate that you might be declared right. Your first father sinned and your interpreters have transgressed against me. So I have profaned the chief ones of the set-apart place, and I've delivered up Yaakov to the curse and Israel to scorn.